and the hex code if you guys really care by honestly it doesn't matter whatsoever um is d b that oh, fuck that's dyslexia uh d b no that's right Oh, I like reversed, like whatever. Um, D B D triple E. That's double E. Yeah, I'm just like, like let's fucking start this shit over. <laughs> I'm not making fun of dyslexia. I just, I just suck at English. Uh, it's just numbers. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here, bringing us a video here today, bringing guys a Photoshop tutorial on how to create your own very cool, why did I say that so weird? How to create your very own cool one minute abstract sort of face it uh, banner design. I don't know if you guys know what face it's are, almost like, almost like a crystallization. Um, anyway, as you guys know, the whole little one minute series has been one of my newest kind of like favorites in, in the channel and whatnot. Of course, I personally love them and I love that you guys love them because it pushes me to figure out some really cool, different, and just sort of like, I don't know, you gotta have, you, I guess I gotta figure out some different stuff for it every time, right? Um, this one here happens to be more or less, like, kind of like a face it, sort of like really cool abstract, almost crystal, very sharp, almost like a silk texture. I have no idea how I'm gonna name it, but I'm probably gonna go with face it. Um, I guess like the most, that's how, this is the vibe that I get, but as you guys can see, when you zoom in, it just looks super, super freaking pretty. Like, I mean, the color scheme itself is also really, really good. Um, but it's a lot different than all my other abstract stuff because it really has this really sharp sort of crystallization Plus very very cool minuscule cuts in them And I think it just makes the banner just look, look really really cool and honestly this is a one version I think you're not gonna get the same exact thing no matter what you end up doing um, So if I just show you guys the second version here <laughs> Excuse me This is a lot more hectic a lot more focus in the color in the middle of the actual banner design But like I said like this is just super you guys just look like you see how you get these creases in here I honestly think there's no other way that you guys can get these really cool creases in this. I don't know. It looks super, super dope. Really, really fun to do. And honestly, it takes not that long whatsoever. So let me stop making this video any longer than it needs to be. And of course, guys, two likes on the video. You can stick it down below, which must be the PSD of the video that you guys see here today. And uh, with that being said, let's get this thing going, okay? Alright guys, so let's go to get this thing going right here right now. So we're gonna start off with a simple new layer right here. Uh, this layer, whoa, how did that get there? Uh, we're gonna make a new layer just like so. And we're gonna quick fill this color in with this color right here. Even though I think it does not matter whatsoever, I just think a simple little white and or black. I would honestly just say white or any, so, uh, any sort of that. But uh, DBD double E five, okay? Now um, that's just simply just a nice little white sort of texture and or so you can see the effects are gonna be applying onto it very simply and easily in the shadows and all that good stuff. So well, as long as you have that color filled in, you can just press Alt backspace on that layer to quick fill that layer uh, color right in for you guys. So you can just simply go ahead and move on to the next step, which happens to be we're going to go to filter. <sighs> we are going to go to where it says stylize and we're going to do where it says extrude. So for these, these settings right here, we're going to go with pyramid. Okay. We're going to go at 60 size, depth tool, uh, tool 55, uh, 255 and random. Make sure you guys don't use level base. It's going to give you a really awkward sort of like uniform look. You want it to be as random as possible. So as long as you guys have the type on pyramid, size on 60, depth on two, uh, 255, you have random, you press okay. And just like so, you're going to get this first little simple little abstract sort of like, almost like I say, like it's, a, it's like you start off with a face it almost. Um, so when you guys have this, what I ended up doing now, this reason I'm doing this, you can do this step right here is basically how you would get, I guess, different looks or original different, how you basically make it different, period, right? So what you can either do is skip what I'm going to do right after this and then continue on doing what I'm going to show you guys in a, in a little bit. But um, what I mean by that is you can stay here. You can just keep on adding the extrude filter onto this if you guys really want to mess around with your settings and or what if buts or without it, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put this layer on the top here. So let's just pretend these two things are not here. <sighs> Only our backgrounds here, right? And also at SSOHQ, follow me, lol. And uh, sorry, that was my twi uh, Twitter. Anyway, right? So I have this right here. I'm gonna take my new layer here, or just this little layer that has this little extrude on it. I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift, right? Holding Alt makes a duplicate. So if you guys want to, you can either press uh, Alt, Shift, drag it down, or press Control J to make a duplicate just like that, as you can see now. So either or honestly works. I'm just going to do alt shift, <laughs> excuse me, drag this down just like so. Now, the reason why I'm doing this and splitting it almost in half so you can see more or less is the highlight side. This is the very more of the shadow side. Um, so what happens is what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two layers together. So first layer, hold control, click on the second layer, press control E, that merges all together. 
So I'm gonna go over here to filter. We're gonna go to where it says extrude once again. So we're gonna use the same exact um, settings as before. So you just literally press uh, filter, extrude once again, and or control alt F, just like this. And then you basically get something like this. So the reason why I wanted to give you guys a sort of like idea of how to actually go about it. So you can either use the top or the bottom. So as you can see, we did a, we did one extrude here. It gave us this on the bottom and it's gonna give us this on the top. It's honestly a little bit different either or on each side you use. However, it also gives you different shadows and highlights. So within just one click, it gives you guys two different options if you guys have it split. Also, if you guys check my examples really quickly again, you can see that it almost has this focal point like in this section right here, right? And almost going down this way. So the only way to get this kind of like effect and or that kind of look is to basically make sure you guys have it so it's almost like it's coming down. So you can see how this right here looks like there's a focal point right here and everything's going down this way that's because we use the top half that time so it either it honestly depends on which side you end up using uh what you guys want to use for your face and whatnot but for me i'm gonna use the bottom side for this example here so if you guys want to once again you can press Control, alt and f again to add another face it effect to it um it depends however weird and crazy you want to go with it honestly think this right, right here is perfectly fine so it's basically two um extrudes on top of our little duplicate that we had so i'm gonna press Control t of course to make this a fairly bigger canvas i want to make sure it kind of gets a little more bigger and i said that's pretty good right there perfect so now that i have this i'm going to add a gradient and this basically gives you guys all the magic and all that good stuff so this gradient here you can use either or right you can use uh i have a lot of gradients and i might have to give you guys some just so you guys can like use them and understand them uh, i'm definitely gonna give you guys one that i use in today's video which happens to be this one right here um, it might not notice, you can see, but as you can see, we're going to get like one simple effect is going to make this look way, way, even like 10 times better, but I'm going to press OK. And just so you guys have the gradient here, I start off with a nice little dark blue. Now this color here, you can always change by the way. I'm going to show you guys how to change it after I get to the, the end or the final part of this is on um, this video, but hex code 0A1425, second one here. It's basically pure black press ok and then the second one here is basically your main color and this one here is e three and then four zeros press ok and then this last one here happens to be just pure black once again but also between the red and the black on the right hand side my midpoint right here excuse me my midpoint is more closer to the red so that way the black also comes a little bit in and it's not just so purely red and that press ok now we have that little uh, gradient there. I'm gonna just turn it off for just a quick second so I can show you guys the last little effect that you do on your layer here. Now, if you guys want to, I like to, for some reason, make it a smart object at this point right here, simply because it just makes it a little more easier for me to go back and kind of fix things if I wanna see and move them around and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go to filter here, and then I'm gonna go to where it says blur. And no, we're not using motion blur, we are using radial blur. Now for this radial blur settings here happen to be on blur method zoom happens to be your quality on best and then your amount is on 55 and all you have to do is just simply press OK. Now simply because we actually do have this on a downward motion this is not going to really like where it usually does right it would usually give you guys when I personally use it a lot I, I like to use it sometimes but what it usually does see how that looks really, really smooth but since this is actually not the actual focal point so usually when you do it right this would be the focal point right here right naturally but since it's not because like as you guys remember there's a focal point that's actually right here so given this little effect here you're actually making yourself like give you guys a, a really cool effect because it's going to look way way different way more smoother and give you guys really cool almost face it texture silk like effect and on the throw this gradient that we just had on before we can just kind of move around <laughs> if you want to we can see what it looks like when it's reversed and there we go so it all depends on what you guys end up using, whether you use the top or the bottom. If you guys use the bottom where it's more or less kind of the shadows, um, you're going to most likely end up reversing that green that I, guess, that I gave you guys in the uh, first place, right? But simply, if you guys can't tell which one you're using, top or bottom, whatever, just press reverse and you just say, hey, which one looks better in your opinion, right? So just like that. And now you can see if I just move this around a little bit, that looks super... How do you not fall in love with something like that? Honestly, I'm just going to change this here. So what I was talking about changing the color, all you have to do is go back to the, uh, into the gradient click on that red that like that basically is the primary color right so i'm gonna just take this and just drag this down my hue table and you can just see you get some stupidly oh my god you get some stupidly beautiful abstract face it sort of like just dope effect and i honestly hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today that is basically it i just want to show you guys how to do this and set up your logo if you guys want to uh i'm gonna throw my logo in why not tada okay logo is now in right just throw your logo right in the middle you can throw your little uh i guess like any information on the right and left hand sides of it 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it, this can be more than anything you guys want it to be. It can be a backing, it can be the main focus, it can be like a nice little section on the right hand side area if you want to cut around like on this area here, you want to cut this thing out and then have another side be like a different um little face sort of motion let me just take this really quick and just show you guys what i mean by cutting it out right really just cut one out cut a piece out i there's like endless possibilities and i'm probably going to obviously use it in most of my uh honest excuse me i'm probably end up using this effect personally in some of my cool little wallpaper designs for some of the 100 thieves guys and I uh, just like to kind of like mix it up every once in a while. This effect personally happens to be my favorite when it comes to the abstract series, especially of course the one minute banner design. So with that being said, I don't need to talk anymore because the video's done and that does not mean we're gonna have a 30 minute video showing how to do something very simple. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video once again. Uh, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below, which most likely will be the PSD of the video that you guys see here today and all that good stuff, even though honestly it doesn't really make any sense to have, but I'll, maybe I'll figure something different out, maybe like color schemes and whatnot. But also, let me show you guys one more thing. So, <clears throat> I do have this as a more smart object. Now, this is the background image, don't forget. So if I just go over here and go to filter, I'm gonna go to where it says uh, camera filter raw, camera raw filter, whatever, and I'm gonna click on that. So, oh, let me do this first. Let me combine together the gradient and the background image. So just simply press uh, control click on both of them, right? And if you guys wanna group them together, sure. And then you wanna merge them together and I'm gonna make a duplicate just to kind of like have as a backup, whatever. But I'm gonna take this group here that I just now grouped together with these two layers, right? And I'm gonna press control E then merge these two layers together. I can go back into it, make sure I uh, create into a smart object, simply because when I put on the actual camera filter raw, it'll allow me to go back into it and change things if I really need to. So now I go to filter, uh, camera raw filter. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna zoom in really quickly. And now what I'll do is I'll take my clarity here and I'll just kind of sharpen this up even more. So you can see in this area right here, you'll get these really, really nice sort of smooth and just very almost metal metallic. I have no idea like what, the, what phrases I would give it, but you can see how pretty it honestly looks. I'll show you guys a before and after. So this is after on this side. This is before on this side. I mean, you can just tell it gives it a little more character. You can see how more, like, more, much more sharper it is. Um, I'm just going to click back on this thing. Uh, please go back to the original. All right, cool. This is what I want. So if you guys want to as well, the temperature is how I get some of these other different colors. So if I just move the temperature around, you guys will find out that you'll get some really cool greens. You can see how I got that green from before. Um, but yeah, you can get a really, really cool, like, that's kind of badass. It's almost like very... Uh, it's like an elegant sort of color. But if you guys want to put your clarity up even more, you guys can. But also, vibrance and saturation is a good friend as well. So I can just put both of these up. Why not? Press OK. And I get a really cool purple and gold feel. Um, so yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm now done talking. And I hope you guys enjoy once again for like the seventh time. Can I stop talking? I, it's like weird. It's like in my soul to keep talking. But... I want to say thank you guys so very much for the, like, I think it's like 98.5k. We are so, so, so close. If you guys knew the video, this is the first video you've personally seen from me, and you guys made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys subscribe and all that cool stuff. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So, so HQ out. I'm going to keep smiling. <laughs> Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Love you. Kisses.